Hi booktube, Lynette here and today's video is going to be a bookshelf tour. This is only going to be my physical shelves um, because I've recently changed my bookshelves um, from the Argos um, main bookshelves that they're called um, to the Ikea Billy shelves. Um, now Ikea Billy shelves you normally think of the white ones or the black ones that you see standard in across YouTube however when I was looking for bookshelves I wanted wooden ones and I found that actually the Ikea Billy shelves they came in either oak or whitewashed oak veneer so I went with the whitewashed oak veneer because I wanted something that was a wood effect but was light um, and white was just too bright for me I didn't really want the brightness of the white so I went for the whitewashed oak and they're really easy to put together. They were actually easier to put together than the ones that I had previously. Um, so I'm really glad I picked them. I've got loads of room. The um, double width, the regular width bookshelf, I've got enough room to double stack my books on if I need to. But for the moment, they all fit. Uh, the narrow one, some of it is a little bit um, full, depending on the thickness of the books. Certainly with hardback books on there, I can't double stack. Uh, but they are identically the same i've got three i've got one full width shelf and i've got mm. two of the half widths so i've got one of the half widths here behind me and the other half width is in another corner of my room um and um i'll talk you through the, all the books that are on them as we go so here we go here are all the physical books that i own okay so this is shelf one um in this corner i've got a candle Older here and in this corner just a mug on a coaster um, and that's just all the books so I've got all my hardback books in alphabetical order by uh, author surname and then the start of my paperback collection again those are running in alphabetical order by author surname so I'll just get in a bit closer and show you close-ups of all the books The Short Knife by Ellen Caldecott Paris by Starlight by Robert Dinsdale D. A Tale of Two Worlds by Michael Faber The Keeper of the Lost Things by Ruth Hogan The Magpie Society by Zoe Sugg and Amy McCullough Burn by Patrick Ness Ariadne by Jennifer Saint Winter's Fury by A. E. Rain this isn't actually a hardback, it's a paperback um, but it doesn't fit with my paperbacks because it's too tall Threadneedle by Carrie Thomas. And the final hardback is Ghostwood Song by Erica Waters. So now we have the paperbacks, starting with The Blade Itself by Joe Abercrombie, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, and Ruin and Rising, all by Lee Bardugo. Splinters of Scarlet by Emily Bain Murphy. Noughts and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. Driven. Fueled and Crashed by Kay Bromberg. The Binding by Bridget Collins. Leviathan Wakes by Jess A. Corey. Sharp's Tiger by Bernard Cornwell. And then the final book on this shelf is The Imaginary Corpse by Tyler Hayes. So then we move on to book two. And again, in this corner here, I've got my mug from when I went to see the Lion King stage show with a bookmark and a bottle of Prosecco in it. And on this side, I've got a bottle of Prosecco that was given to me as part of my birthday hamper for this year. So as you can see, if I stand back from a distance, so you can see the full shelf. It is primarily Robin Hobb, um, but I do have a couple of other books on the shelf as well. So I'll just take you through and I'll take you through the Robin Hobb books by the actual individual uh series because there's five different series here the deep blue between by aisha haruma atta the magic cottage by james herbert assassin's apprentice royal assassin and assassin's quest which are the three books in the farseer trilogy by robin hobb ship of magic the mad ship and ship of destiny which are the three books in the Life Ship Traders trilogy by Robin Hobb. The Willful Princess and the Piebald Prince. This is a standalone novella in the set in the realm of the Elderlings, and it really ideally should be read in between the Life Ship Traders trilogy and the Tawny Man trilogy because it gives a history of the world, which is referred to quite often throughout the Tawny Man trilogy. Fall's Errand. 
The Golden Fool, and False Fate, which are the three books in the Tawny Man trilogy. Dragon Keeper, Dragon Haven, City of Dragons, and Blood of Dragons, which make up the four books in the Rainwild uh, quadrilogy. Fool's Assassin, Fool's Quest, and Assassin's Fate, which is the final series uh, in the set, and this is the Fits and the Fool series. And then the third shelf on my large bookshelf, uh, again, as you can see, it's primarily one series. It's the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, but I'll go through them all individually. I've also got two candle holders. They actually used to have Christmas candles in until I burnt them down. And I've just popped a couple of my colourful Yankee candles inside them. So on this shelf, I have The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell, The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, the Shadow Rising, The Fires of Heaven, Lord of Chaos, A Crown of Swords, The Path of Daggers, Winter's Heart, Crossroads of Twilight, Knife of Dreams, The Gathering Storm, Towers of Midnight, A Memory of Light, and those are books 1 to 14 of the uh, Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, the final three books of which were actually completed by Brandon Sanderson because Robert Jordan passed away before they were completed. And then the final book on the shelf is New Spring, which is, um, it's not a novella, it's actually a novel. Uh, it's a prequel book, which is all about Moraine Damadred's uh, origin story. So this is shelf number four. Uh, and as you can see, I have a Bugs Bunny mug, which was brought back for me many, many years ago from Disneyland Paris, and my Hermione Granger wand from the Harry Potter Studios tour. Elevation, The Institute, and Rose Madder, all by Stephen King. Strangers, and Lightning, both by Dean Koontz. Lancelot, and Camelot, both by Giles Christian. The Fallen by Kerry Lake, and this is a signed copy that I won in a Facebook competition quite a few years ago. Here the Whole Time by Vitor Martins. This is actually um, an ARC copy that I received in a book box in 2020. Dragonfly by Leila Meacham. The Song of Achilles by Madeline Miller. All the Lonely People by David Owen. Where the Cruel Dads Sing by Delia Owens. The Kiss of Deception. And The Beauty of Darkness, these are the three books in the Remnant Chronicles series by Mary E. Pearson. The Listeners by Christopher Pike. The Colour of Magic. And The Light Fantastic, both by Terry Pratchett. Deja Dead by Kathy Rikes. And this beautiful copy of The Sisters of the Winterwood by Rena Rossner. Magic by Angie Sage, which is book one of the Septimus Heap series. Why Mummy Drinks by Jill Sims, The Uploaded by Ferret Steinmetz, Strange the Dreamer, and Muse of Nightmares, which make up the Strange the Dreamer duology by Lainey Taylor. And the final shelf uh, that I'm going to show you on the large bookshelf, because the bottom shelf, although it's got books on it, they're reference books, um, and it's got some odds and ends stored on it. Uh, but I have a, a mug with a cat on it. Um, this is a Forbidden Forest mug that I got from the Book Box Club and the Ron Weasley wand from uh, the Warner Brothers Studio Tour. Daughter of Smoke and Bone, Days of Blood and Starlight and Dreams of Gods and Monsters that make up the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy also by Lainey Taylor. Implanted by Lauren C. Tafo. Revved and The Two Week Stand both by Samantha Towell. And after that, I then have my collection of Tolkien books. So I'll uh, just take you through those. So I have my cloth bound edition of The Hobbit, which is the one that I now read. I have my battered original copy of The Hobbit that I bought when I was 10 years old. So this book is actually now 32 years old, this particular copy. I'm not going to take them out because they're a bit difficult to get out. But I then have two um box sets of the hobbit and the lord of the rings trilogy um so i have this collins classics um abridged versions um and then i have the um leather look bound editions uh, which come in this gorgeous box 
Um, like I say, I'm not going to take it out. They are Bible thin pages, so I'm a bit scared to read them because I have been known to tear them. Then I have The Silmarillion, Unfinished Tales of Numenor and Middle Earth, The Children of Hurin, The Fall of Gondolin, and Baron and Luthien, which are all books set in the world of Middle Earth, um, written by J.R.R. Tolkien and edited by Christopher Tolkien. Dragon Mountain and Dragon Legend, which are the first two books in the Dragon Realm series by Katie and Kevin Sang. This lovely copy of The Light Between Worlds by Laura Weymouth. The Thousand Deaths of Ardor Ben, which is the first book in the series of Grit series by Tyler Whitesides. And then Lord of the Fading Lands by C.L. Wilson. This is the top shelf of my narrow shelf, so as you can see I've got my Rubik's Cube, which... Sneakily, you can see, isn't quite complete. I need to finish off the bottom layer. And I have a Harry Potter mug that was given to me a couple of years ago for Christmas, and that's got all my bookmarks in it. Nevermore, The Trials of Morrigan Crow. Wondersmith, The Calling of Morrigan Crow. Starfell, Willow Moss and the Lost Day. And Starfell, Willow Moss and the Forgotten Tale, both by Dominique Valente. Evernight by Ross McKenzie. Redwall and Mossflower, both by Brian Jacks. Silver Brumby Stories by Elaine Mitchell. In the Grip of Winter and the Siege of White Deer Park by Colin Dan. The Running Foxes by Joyce Stranger. Run to Earth by Tom McCorran. Cheer the Wildcat. And Kazan, The Horse That Came Out of the Sea, which are also books by Joyce Stranger. And then on the shelf, as you can see, I've got my collection of Narnia books and some other books from my childhood. Uh, this is the complete Chronicles of Narnia in one hardback bind-up, which I bought quite a few years now, reduced from 24 99 to 5 99 from the works. This was one of the first Narnia books I owned, and it's a bind-up of The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian and The Voyage of the Dawn Treader. And then my very battered bind-up of The Silver Chair and The Last Battle. And I've just turned it round. Uh, then I have my box set of the full series in individual paperbacks. These are the ones that I've been reading recently and finished when I finish up the series. I'm not going to take them out because they are very, very difficult to get back in. Uh, 13 O'Clock and Other Stories, which is a series of short stories by Enid Blyton. The Island Stallion's Fury. The Black Stallion Returns. Son of the Black Stallion. The Black Stallion and Satan. The Black Stallion Revolts, The Black Stallion's Ghost, and The Black Stallion and Flame, which are all books about horses and their owners and their adventure stories, all by Walter Farley. And The Beast Within by Serena Valentine, which is one of the um, Disney autumn publishing uh, villains' origin stories. And then the last book on the shelf is my Rubik's Cube uh, How to Solve booklet, which is what I use when I'm doing it. Um, and then the final shelf is just some childhood books. Uh, some of these aren't from childhood, but the first three are. So the complete and illustrated stories of the Brothers Grimm. The complete and illustrated works of Lewis Carroll. And the complete illustrated stories of Hans Christian Andersen. Uh, there are actual tags in the bottom of these because I've had these since I was uh, nine or ten, I think. Um, and when I was at college, I was doing childhood studies and I had to go and spend some time in a school. And I had to read stories to the children and I picked stories from out of these copies and took them with me. And then I have a set of bind-ups of uh, different Enid Blyton stories. So I have the Family Collection. The Wishing Chair Collection, The O'Clock Tales Collection, and The Mysteries Collection. And then the final book on this shelf is As Old as Time by Laura Braswell. And this is one of the Disney Twisted Tales, uh, giving an alternative spin on Beauty and the Beast. And then the final narrow shelf I have has my colouring books on the top of it, um, but it's actually my Harry Potter collections. So, and my Harry Potter... Um, figurines that I got for Christmas last year. So the top shelf is my original hardback copies of Harry Potter um, and the hardback copies of Quidditch Through the Ages, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and The Tales of Beedle the Bard. 
I have a second copy of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince because my ex-partner did the pre-order when this book was coming out and he ordered the adult version instead of the child version, not realising what the difference was, the difference in covers. So my actual copy of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince in the child copies is actually one that I bought off eBay a few years ago so that I would have a cover that matched because I can't have unfinished series in unmatching covers on my shelves. So this shelf here, I have my butterbeer mug that I got when I went to. And then this final shelf is my original paperback copies of Harry Potter. Uh, these were the copies that I bought as they were released. So I have the childhood copies. I also have the first four illustrated editions of Harry Potter. And I have a little Harry Potter music box that plays the theme tune. Um, currently also, which aren't in view because I've taken them off, I have the final three copies of Harry Potter that are to be given to my nephew for his uh, birthday and Christmas presents over the next year or so. So that was the tour of my physical shelves. Have you seen any books that you're intrigued by or have you seen any that you've read um, that maybe I haven't and that you want to um, comment on? Please leave a message down below in the comments box for me. I'd love to hear from you all there. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, then please do like and if not already, then please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you all here. I make videos and put them up once a week on Mondays at 6.30pm UK time. And I'll see you all again in the next one. Bye.